Building sandcastles is no longer something just for children. Germany's Sand Sculpture Festival on the Baltic Sea Coast has attracted more than 70 international artists. The four-week-long festival is opened in the Baltic Sea Resort town of Travemundi near Lübeck and is bound to attract not only little children on holidays. An area of 15,000 square meters has been dedicated to tell the medieval story of the port city of nearby Lübeck by building scenes and buildings from that time out of sand. But it's not just any sand. River sand has to be used because it's very young and the grains have edges. Sea sand is much older and the wind and water make the grains round. If you press the sand together in a wooden mold, it can get very strong, strong enough to sit on without breaking. Seven thousand tons of specially made sand have been imported from the River Moss in the Dutch town of Quick. The sand is then mixed with water and pressed into the wooden molds until it dries. Once the wooden molds have been removed, artists can get to work on the sand blocks using a variety of tools. Special tools were used to cut the sand, from cement trowels for large areas to small pallet knives and even paintbrushes for detailed work. The sand has to be kept moist to be carved, and sculptors used water spray bottles and hoses as they worked. Only sand and water have been used to create the sculptures. Once finished, the structures are generally not damaged by the elements. Rainwater is absorbed by the sand and evaporates when it stops raining, leaving the structure intact. As the sand has been compressed so hard, the wind does not damage the sculptures either. The idea behind the project is to build a great sand sculpture, something that will really astonish people and give them something to remember. In the evenings, there's a sound and light show, which combines for a very impressive experience. Please, can we stay and see the parade? Here comes Mickey. There's Pluto. Hey, Goofy.